Hey y'all, hey, welcome to my channel, Kelly's Crochet Adventures. Welcome, welcome, welcome to my returning subscribers and welcome, welcome, welcome to my new subscribers. Honey, I'm so glad that you are here today. Well, what are we doing? We are continuing with our Crafty Reflection series. And in this series, I share with you the wonderful, wonderful, inspirational, devotional pattern book called Knit, Pray, Share by Lisa Hennessy. Check it out. I'm loving it all day, every day. Um, so I'm, I'm ready to get jiggy with it, aren't you? You ready? Well, wait a minute. Wait a minute, before we even begin, honey, listen, you don't have to know how to knit to enjoy this book. It is amazing, okay? So, yeah, I, I think everybody should have a copy. That's just my personal opinion, okay? Yes, it just blesses me, and I love to bless y'all, so I'm here to share, okay? All right, all right, well, before we begin, honey, do you have your crafty item? Well, go on and grab your crafty item then. Listen, it don't matter what it is. It could be, listen, crochet, knitting, loom knit, latch hook, quilting, water color painting, diamond painting. It don't matter. Child, just go on and grab your crafty item as I begin to share this wonderful, wonderful devotional pattern book with you today, okay? All right. Wait, you not crafting today? You not crocheting, knitting, or nothing like that today? Nothing? Okay, listen. Don't worry about it. Go ahead and grab you something to drink, something nice like water, juice, tea, coffee, what have you, and sit back, relax, chill for a bit as I begin to share this with you today, okay? All right, so today we are gonna be looking at the lap blanket. Y'all, this lap blanket is key. Y'all wanna see it? All right, let me show you. All right, here we go. Look how pretty this is. Production, show me. Yes, isn't that beautiful? Lap blanket, yeah. You can have it on your lap while you're reading a book. Just chilling, kick back, relax. You know, why you why you reading this book? Why not? Hmm? Okay, all right, so let's go ahead and get into it. But before we do, let's look to the Most High in prayer today, okay? All right, Heavenly Father, we just thank you for today. And I thank you, Father, for those that are listening today under the sound of my voice. I pray that you would touch them right where they are, Lord. Father, heal those that need to be healed, deliver those that need to be delivered, and set free those who need to be set free. Father, I pray that you would comfort each and every individual that's listening right now, Father, and give them joy unspeakable in their hearts. Father, I pray that as we go through this devotional, that you would place someone on their heart that they could bless with this beautiful lap blanket. Father, it is in your name that we pray. Father, we just give you glory, we give you honor and praise. In Jesus' name, in Yeshua HaMashiach's name we pray. Amen. Amen. Let's go on and get into it, family, shall we? Yeah, let's do that. Lap blanket. I have a hard time parting with my little balls of leftover yarn. It seems that I, ha I never have quite enough left to make a small project, but I don't want to throw the yarn away. This lap blanket is the perfect project to not only deplete my yarn stash, but also to bless a nursing home with this gift for one of their residents. This is the perfect size for those in a wheelchair or for those in a recliner watching TV. Older people generally tend to be cold, so a gift like this is always welcome. I think part of the reason I have a heart for the geriatric geriatric population is from my in my involvement with widowed persons services at the age of 28 as a widowed pregnant single mom i walked through the doors of one of their support group meetings everyone at that meeting loved me and embraced me while they may have been 30 to 50 years older than i was they still knew the pain of the death of a spouse I won't ever forget their kindness. And I see a project like this as a way for me to give back to those who may not always have people giving to them. This is a great project to use up some of the yarn that has been piling up in a closet. I used all different weights of yarn for this blanket. Where I had some thinner yarns as I knit, I would use double strands of yarn to make it thicker. If you have any eyelash yarn to double with in another yarn, the ladies really like the look and feel of it. Genesis chapter 37, verse 3. 
Israel loved Joseph more than all his children because he was the son of his old age. Also, he made him a tunic of many colors. Dear Lord, please bring to mind an older person who has made an impact on my life or lead me to a nursing home where I can donate this blanket to someone who needs a tangible reminder that you hear their prayers and that they are not forgotten. I ask that whoever receives this blanket will know that they are special and that you love them. It is in the name of Jesus that I pray these things. Amen. Amen, family. This is so beautiful. I'm loving this blanket. I'm going to have to use this for my stash, y'all. It is so cute. I think I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. I'm going to use it and bless somebody with it for sure. I'm going to pray about who the Most High will have me bless with this beautiful, beautiful, beautiful lap blanket. Okay, family. Well, listen, I pray that your day is amazing and that it's blessed. Feel free to follow me and honey, if you have not already, hit like, subscribe, honey, and ring the bell so you know every time I'm in these YouTube streets. Now listen, if you need prayer, please put it in the comments below and guess what? I'm going to pray for you. I will pray for you. Add you to my prayer journal and I will continue to pray for you, lift you and your family up in prayer, okay? All right. Now, hey, listen, we're going to be out here on Thursday at 1 o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time live discussing this beautiful, lovely, devotional, uh, inspirational pattern book, Knit, Pray, Share. So feel free to come and join me 1 o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time as I share this wonderful, wonderful devotional and we discuss it. It's going to be fun. All right? All right. Well, may the Most High bless you and may heaven smile upon you. Until next time, family. Bye.